In this video, we will be solving drawing 1-7, the pipe support. The first thing I want to take a look at is the distance between my center points. Now I want to locate these center points and use them as my reference points for everything else on the drawing. So I'm going to jump over to AutoCAD and draw a line 10 inches long because my measurement between those center points is 10 inches. I'm going to create some circles that have a radius of 4 inches based on that center point, each of these and then some circles that have a diameter of five and a half inches. So we'll start with the radius of four inches and then we will also create the diameter of 5.5 .5. The center circle here, I'm going to wait on that one. I'm going to come down and take a look at this. So I have a radius of 4 inches and it flows smoothly into my other circles. So I know that it is a tangent circle. I'm going to take my outside circles and I'm going to offset them 4 inches. And just for visual sake, I'm going to convert that to a construction line so we can see that those are not part of our object. Where these circles cross, I'm going to create a, another circle with a radius of 4 inches. Delete out my offset circles. Trim the top part and I don't want to go ahead and do all that offset stuff again so I'm just going to take that little section of line and I'm going to mirror that based on my center point just to speed stuff up a little bit and we'll trim off those extra little pieces that we don't need. Let's jump back here to my small circle in the center which has a diameter of 1.25 diameter 1.25 and lastly I need to put in my center lines so I'm going to extend my lines just a little bit outside of my object and let's create some here now I want to make sure when I snap to my line because what I'm going to do to create this vertical center mark is I'm going to use my O track function where I come down here and touch a point on the circle and pull it back and then create my line what I want to be careful of is that I'm snapping to the correct point if I'm choosing the center point of my circle. What can happen is you can get off center just slightly. Um, this is kind of an exaggerated uh, getting that off centered. Um, we want to be very careful that if we are doing this we snap to a point that says the center like it does here or perhaps the quadrant of our circle and then pull that back so we know we are going directly through the center. So then to create those center marks I'm going to offset. Now because this object is fairly large we're 10 inches just between these two center points I'm going to offset this an eighth of an inch 
and see what that looks like, if that's going to give me enough spacing. And I think that'll be all right. We just want to make sure those center marks look good. So we'll offset these. Let's trim out the pieces that we don't need and get rid of these lines there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's do it on this one here. Offset two times each way. Trim for our center mark. And I'm going to go ahead and put a center line in here as well. Just so this is going to look nice. Offset two times each way. Trim off what we don't want and remove those offset lines. And the last thing we need to do is convert all of these into the center line layer. And then we have this very nice looking center marks on our object. And we can go ahead and save that. And this one is drawing 1-7. So I'm going to name mine Olson 1-7.